Greetings and salutations, and welcome to another episode of Six. Terrible. Six. And today... Today we got a bunch of chocolate, and I got this guy, uh, this from uh, this idea from a guy called Uncle Bokow. He does a lot of hot pepper stuff, and it's all chocolate. It's from Willie Pete's Chocolates. Uh, I believe they're a veteran-run company. Uh, they have tons and tons of different flavors, so... You can read this one. All right, we got uh, white phosphorus, white chocolate infused with golden ghost peppers, and it says caution, warning, danger. So I guess that's pretty hot. So that's a warning. Ones. Yep. This looks to be a mild one. Death breath. Uh, milk chocolate with garlic flakes and sea salt and jalapeno peppers. All right, and this one's called the Claymore. Milk chocolate with. Ahi lemon drop peppers and strawberry pop rocks. That sounds kind of interesting. Probably show this to the camera. So, yep. And then there you go. You got uh, Han Banero. This is good. I, I I I really like this. That's uh, everybody loves Han Solo. So and carbonite hot chocolate with ha habanero and it is in the. It seems like it's mild. It's really. It's kind of. It's not. It's very kind hot. of in the red. So. Coolest graphic though. I'm a big fan. He's holding a little habanero. This big chunk of chocolate is half pound chocolate bar, white chocolate infused with Carolina Reaper and caramel filling with ground scorpion peppers, and it's in the danger zone, which is the fucking highest it can fucking be. Oh, this and this is called the landmine peanut butter cup. It's not, not just a peanut butter cup, and it's uh, it's way up there in the warning red, and that's that. So we're gonna try the weakest one first and work our so, way up. So, so Habanero seems this mild. This looks right. like it Death might be breath. that one. Yeah, Death yeah, breath. that's the weakest one. This yeah. Is the second. Right, we got a second one because if this isn't bad, these, we'll these go for another one. Danger. Danger zone. So and this one's, this one's right, probably the next right one. So, mild, right. so we'll put these aside. This is on the heat scale. And today's knife is the Spider Call Your Jimbo. Hold it. Move it's got the fancy scales on it. I forget what company you got these scales from. Um, I'll put the link in the description. But makes it a little bit heavy, but it's a, it's a beefy, nice knife, nice and sharp. Perfect for opening something like this. It's beautiful. So here we go. Slicey. Dead breath. Death breath. Ooh. It's very pretty. I don't know, is that the garlicky stuff at the back? Yeah. The back of it? Something like that. And the garlic, front. garlic flakes and sea salt. All right. And jalapeno peppers. So, we're going to go for like one of these each, or what do we want to do? Probably start with that. Yeah. Last sure. time we did yeah. the other one, we really messed ourselves up. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's good. It is good. It's got that crunch from the sea salt. Mm -hmm. you got the salt, and you start to get a thing, and then you get a little garlic. A little yeah. garlic. That's it's good. And then, and then you start to get a little bite. A little bit of a burn. Towards the throat. Yeah. Wowzers. It's actually, it's pretty pretty damn good. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give it a 10 for flavor on this. Oh, Captain 10 strikes again. It's good, yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. I like this. Strikes again. Um, heat. Yeah. Like a one or two. For me, heat, a little bit. For me, heat's probably like a point two. It does have garlic heat in it because the garlic's mm -hmm. pretty strong in it. Uh, flavor, uh, seven point two. Yeah, I'm gonna go heat. I'm gonna have to agree point two. It's kind of there, but it's just subtle, which is it's good enough. But uh, flavor, I don't know. I gotta give this a nine point five. It is. Unique and just delicious. Very unique. I love it. All right. I guess that didn't burn us so bad. Our taste buds are still functioning, so let's go for the Claymore. Let's see Claymore. what this one's all about. Yeah. Nice and slicey. Mm. 
Oh, it broke. Guess we'll do the same thing. Broke in half. Cheers. To the Claymore. More crunches. Oh, it's a Pop Rocks. A Pop Rocks one. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. That's cool. With the strawberry Pop Rocks, yeah. Uh, I lemon drop peppers and that's strawberry really good. Pop Rocks. Mmm. That's, that's pretty damn good. I like that. And I'm not a big strawberry fan, but that works well. Yeah, I've, ne I've never. That's really good. Yeah. All right, ten for flavor. Yeah, I'd say I'd say there's no I I don't get any heat from this at all, but so it doesn't need it. It's really good. It's still popping. Pop pop pop. It starts to hit you in the at the end there. A little bit in the back of the throat. Did you do both of your results? Yes, point two. Point two. I'll steal your <laughs> point twos. Heat heat for me, it's probably like a point two. I don't think it's any hotter than the other one. Flavor, I think this is a little bit better. I like this. It's a 7.8 for me. Definitely pretty good. Kind of su surprised. I guess we can go up. I'm sticking with the uh, 0.2 on the heat as well. I think I'm going to go 9.5 of flavor. It's just, it's fucking awesome and it's kind of unique tasting. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the next level? We might as well go since we're not. Hab Nero Solo. It's definitely the Hab Nero because it's uh, the Bahan. Banero Saro, because it's right at the orange, and this one's in the further red. So. Okay. So this, this one prior. These temperature gauges are very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Dark chocolate with habanero. All right, I like habanero. Let's see if it bites. Let's give it a little bite here. I'm more scared of these ones where they say danger. Yeah, yeah. that's a, they're just danger. There's that's no got level an atomic <laughs> explosion. You know, it's gonna hurt. Not a fan of dark chocolate. <laughs> oh, I fucked that up. I'm sorry. I'll eat up. You wanna, you wanna do the breaking for me? I'm just separating mm -hmm. these. Yep. I'll eat a bigger one. I don't give a damn. Well, hey, cheers. cheers. For dark chocolate, it's pretty damn good. Yeah. Hmm. Just got the kick to the throat. Mm hmm. Right, definitely a little hotter. Tougher when it's sweet, it takes a few seconds to hit you. Mm hmm. That's got a little bit more sting. Yeah. Han Solo. I would say. And that's creeping up in heat pretty quickly. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Say maybe a. I'm gonna go eight for flavor because it was like it's good, but um, it wasn't as interesting as the others. Um, and um, heat-wise, I don't know, maybe three. I think it was a little hotter than the garlic one. Mm. I'm trying to be consistent with my. <laughs> for me, I'm gonna go heat, maybe, maybe a 1.5. It's got a little bit more kick flavor. It's uh, probably seven one. It's really good for dark chocolate. Like I said, I don't like dark chocolate, so it's very good. Yeah. Heat. I go two. It's got a bite at the end. Um, flavor. Yeah, like Pete said, uh, it's not as interesting, but it is really good. I'm going to go with a 7.8 for flavor. It's still very good. Mm -hmm. Rock and roll. Now your palate's feeling. Good. Let's go do, for let's the do white one for us. We might as well. And we might have to keep the extreme ones for another time. Yeah, those the uh, packaging actually, on those definitely. These are going like really. So this is this is a white chocolate infused with a golden ghost pepper. Golden ghosts. Mm -hmm. So, and it's white. I think it's white chocolate. I yeah. like white chocolate. Hmm. That dark taco was actually really good. That the pop rock one. Yeah. I'm buy some of that for my house. I got some for you. I got all like, kinds of extras. I bought, I bought like three of all, each of these because I didn't know how big they were. I thought they were going to be like little tiny things and then they were like full size bars. So. <laughs> Willie Pete's very uh, fruitful with his uh, deliveries. Thank you, Willie Pete. All right. Yes. Bam. Ugh, oh, fuck that up too. <laughs> 
All right, I'm going to let you do this since I'm kind of messing this shit up. Hell yeah, I got there we go. All right. You're going for the, you're going for the power? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> this one, you can see the pepper in it. That's going to sting right away. For me, at least. I hit the side of the tongue. Uh, got me in the throat. Mm -hmm. I chewed on the side. Ooh, there it goes. Boy, the white chocolate's good. Oh, yeah, once it hits your throat, that's like, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had it. Wow. Mm. Pretty good. I like that. Not as frightening as I thought it was going to be, but it's definitely hot. Yeah, I didn't know where we were going to be with these at all, so that's why we worked our way up. I thought I was, I thought I was going to have tears in my eyes, but I'd say... Still, it's going to hang. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit of a tear. Yeah, it's getting a hang. <laughs> I'd say the flavor, I ate again, it's really good, but nothing too funky about it. The first two were very surprising and, and creative. Um, but the, but it's still a great high quality chocolate. Um, so eight on the on the uh, flavor and Jesus on on um, heat. I, maybe uh, six, five or six, six. I'm gonna go with six because it's got a good hang time. It's still burning. Yep, got a good hang time, slow build. I'm gonna go three for heat on this one, uh, and for flavor I'm gonna go seven point nine. I think I gave the other one a 7.8, but I can't change my score. I think that might be better. <laughs> Whatever. It's hard to judge when you're trying them all at the same time. I didn't know what to expect, but 7.9. Perfect. It'll be 4.2 for heat. Still is building, but I'm going to just kind of stick with that because it's bearable, but it's still really hot. Flavor. Oh, it's a tough one. The, the chocolate, the white chocolate's really, really good. Flavor, I'm going 7.6. Bam! Not going to do them today. Going to reset the palate and try these on a... Reset the palate. You know, try those from scratch to see where they Danger go. and fucking landmine warning. I'm going to grab another Pop Rock. These are all are... way past my expectations. Like, are all... Is this the Pop Rock one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. so tasty. Oh, really good. It's just awesome. For me, it's that and the white chocolate. I love the first two. They're both really good. I like the jalapeno crazy. <laughs> it's almost like you can go back to the Pop Rock ones to cleanse your palate. <laughs> yep. yep. Oh, shit. Because they're so sweet. Okay. You sure you don't want to bust out in the other ones? Nah. I want I want to have that hit me in the face from a from a you know cold yeah. crank. Okay. Yeah, we might not be able to give an accurate reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're burning a little bit. We have that as gonna like launch. Cool. That was fun. fun. So there you go. These are definitely worth getting. Oh, 100%. So, they're all great. It's the Willie, Pe great. Willie Pete's chocolate, and uh, what's the website on this? Do you see it? I can't read it. Is it WillyPeets.com. Yep. So they got tons and tons, all kinds of different chocolates oh. on there. They get all kinds of flavors. WillyPeetsChocolates.com. Yep. This says WillyPeets.com. Oh, they have <clears throat> multiple websites. Well, they multiple. They have multi websites. Good. Cool. Yep. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, whatever. And uh, try this product if you like hot stuff. It's, uh, and even if you don't like hot stuff, the mild stuff was kind of yeah, interesting. That one's great. So, all right. That's a wrap.